Hi, I'm Amit Bojaraj, Product Marketing Manager at NXP Semiconductors. Today, I'll be talking about LPC11U100, our latest addition to the Cortex-M0 LPC1100 microcontroller family. The LPC11U100 features the Cortex-M0 core running at 50 MHz. In terms of flash configurations, we offer up to 128K of flash, up to 10K of SRAM, and even an E-square block up to 4K. We have APIs for the power profiles, E-square, and 32-bit divide. Now, we have done something very unique with the LPC11U100. We have integrated USB drivers in on-chip ROM. Not one, not two, but three USB drivers in on-chip ROM. HID, mass storage class, and CDC. HID and mass storage are very popular device classes for consumer applications. The mass storage class also allows you to do firmware updates over USB. So when you plug in your evaluation board into your PC or to your laptop, your evaluation board will show up as a USB drive. And then using the familiar drag and drop mechanism, you can update your firmware on the on-chip flash. In terms of serial interfaces, we have two SSPs, I2C bus with the fast mode plus operation uh, mode, and then a USART with a smart card interface. In terms of analog, we have 8-channel 10-bit ADC. And then in terms of other peripherals, we have four timers, watchdog, a 12 megahertz IRC, which is accurate up to plus minus 1% over voltage and temperature, a clock out option, BOD boundary scan, and a single 3.3 volt power supply. In terms of packages, we have in addition to the LQFP48 and the HPQFN33, we also have the TFBGF48 and the LQFP64. The LPC11U100 is pin-to-pin -pin compatible with the LPC134X series, which is our Cortex-M3 USB solution that increases your performance from 50 MHz to 72 MHz. We believe that the LPC11U100 is an exciting solution for the USB to serial bridge application. As you can see, in addition to the full-speed USB device controller, which is certified at USB.org, we also offer you a range of serial interfaces. So we have a feature-rich SSP, so we have two of those. We have the I2C block, which offers the fast mode plus mode, and we have a USART, which offers you the smart card interface. The flexible buffer management makes the LPC11U100 an ideal fit for USB to serial bridge applications. A final note here is again about the USB drivers in on-chip ROM. When you have the drivers uh, integrated, that equates up to 4 or 6K of savings for your end application. For the LPC11U100 family, you have a range of tools to choose from, from evaluation boards to IDEs. But if you're just getting started, and if you're not familiar with the LPC11U100 series or with our tool platforms, then the fastest way to get going would be Embed. Embed is a rapid prototyping platform from ARM that enables you to get up and running with example projects in a matter of minutes. Embed has been supporting us with the Cortex-M3 platform, specifically the LPC1700 series, but now with the introduction of the LPC11U100, they have rolled out the next generation of Embed for Cortex-M0. And that's what you see on the screen right now. Now, how does Embed work? It's pretty easy and it's, it's really fast. So you don't have to install any tools on your local machine. All you have to do is to plug in this board via the USB cable to your laptop or to your PC. The board will enumerate has a, a flash drive. And when you open the flash drive, you will see an HTML page, which is basically the home page for embed.org. Once you go to this home page, all you have to do is create an, e create an account, just like an email account. And once your account is created, the next step for you is to look at the world of Embed. So Embed offers you everything on the web. So your IDE, your compiler, your example projects, the community, they all reside in the cloud. And that's the beauty of Embed. You don't have to install any tools on your local machine. Now, how does it go from there? So once you, once you log into your website, the website will recognize your board as an LPC11U24 embed board. And then from that point on, you get access to all the example projects that are hosted on the website. 
and the example projects range from simple hello world to the fully uh, the full length USB examples like mouse and keyboard and embed makes it really easy for you they provide you API interfaces they provide you explanation for the code snippets everything is on the website so if you want to get started with the LP Silver New 100 the fastest way to get going is the Embed platform and that will get you up and running in a matter of minutes. So where do you get started? To download your documentation, you can go to nxp.com. For product training and for the latest updates, please visit our video training portal that we call LPC Zone. To get tools, we have LPC Expresso. So you can download this from our NXP website. That is nxp.com slash LPC Expresso. And then to get the free USB stack, NXP USB lib, you can go to lpcware.com, where we host our online MC community. So all in all, as a closing note, I would say the LPC 11 New 100 is a one-stop stop for USB. It's got everything you need for your next USB design. So the next time around, you're looking at an embedded MCU with a USB interface, think about the LPC 11 New 100. Thank you.